Okay, well, yesterday I was in Georgia, and now I'm traveling up here to Birmingham, and I thought I'd stop off here uh, and look at some of the civil rights sites and show you all around. But this is uh, this is actually oops, let me turn it around here. So let's show you around. This is Kelly, this is uh, Kelly Ingram Park, and if you remember your history, this is where the uh, famous protests were held, um, the nonviolent protests that actually turned violent because of the the cops that got involved, and this is where they turned the fire hoses on the black protesters. And originally it was adults that protested, but then they they rounded all of them up, threw them in jail, and then they had children come in and they built a children's march, and they started rounding up the children too. But uh, this is where all that happened. You probably remember the famous archival footage of, of the protesters being uh, doused with fire hoses and uh, being arrested. Well, this is where that all happened. So you can see right there, there's a statue of Martin Luther King because he was one of the main organizers of it. And uh, so throughout the park, they now have a lot of different various monuments. And so, like, let me just do a little tour. Hopefully, a sound of a leaf blower is going to get in the way. But you can see they've got a, what they call the Freedom Walk. And all around Birmingham, they've got uh, kind of a, a walking tour type thing that you can take to kind of retrace the steps. But this is one of the monuments. And so you can see the, the Bull Connor, who is the head of the, head of the uh, police, I guess. He was the one that ordered the water cannons to be turned on the protesters. So there's a famous image. And then they've got a representation here to show you. So we've got the water cannons over here. Actually, the people being uh, doused with the water. The details on these things are really amazing. I don't know if you can really tell with this, but you can see the details here. It's unbelievable that this actually happened less than, you know, just a little over 50 years ago. You know, it seems like so much has changed, but then again, you look at the news and you realize things haven't changed nearly as much as what you think. Okay. And so right here, this is actually, you know, since they get tours in D.C., this is actually kind of cool because this is a uh, Anne Frank tree. Um, what they did is they took, the, they took the chestnut tree that she mentioned in her diary, and uh, whenever it fell over or it was destroyed. Um, they took, uh, they germinated uh, some of the acorns from it. Or I guess it's acorns, right? Um, but anyway, they, they sent uh, these around the world as a symbol of Anne Frank and her message. You know, about peace and nonviolence. And you can see the quote here. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. And so throughout the, throughout the world, they now have these Anne Frank trees that have been planted. And they've got one in, in, on the grounds of the United States Capitol, which I always show people. It's actually a beautiful day here. It's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday, thank goodness. And I'm not using my selfie stick today. I refuse. I felt like such a hypocrite yesterday, honestly. So if you have any questions, just chime on in. 
I could do my best to answer them. Actually, a guy stopped me earlier as I was walking around and he gave me a full on tour. And I was honestly trying to get away from him because I knew he was going to hit me up for a tip afterwards, and of course he did. And I don't carry cash on me, hardly. So I gave, him, I gave him a couple bucks, but he gave me good information. But I knew what he was up to. Now, this is another statue here called the Kneeling Ministers. Killed, actually but uh, during during one of the protests uh, on this corner um, the ministers uh, basically uh, knelt and prayed and then uh, they said basically if you you know if we don't get resolution here then we we march and we protest and so they protested so this is one of the statues now up in the distance there you see that church we're going to head over there too. That's this famous 16th Avenue Baptist Church. That's the one that was bombed uh, and four little girls were killed in. And I'll take you over there in just a moment, but I'll show you the rest of these monuments first. Now, if you remember all the archival footage of that day, you know, it was shocking. You know, here we were in the middle of the Cold War, and we were telling everybody, you know, that we were the superior power, that democracy was great, and yet, here in America, we had things like this happening. And so the Soviet Union is basically saying, you know, you all are a bunch of hypocrites because you talk about peace and you talk about how great democracy is, but then, you know, you've got video footage of people having fire hoses and dogs turned on them. And so it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of an embarrassing history, but it's also heroic too. You know, the people that ended up were in dire need of in our country. But this is another uh, statue. This is actually kind of a disturbing one, but it's got the represents the dogs that were turned on the, the protesters. And so as you walk through, I guess they're trying to recreate the feeling of having these things lunging at you. I kind of honestly I have expected them to have like a sound to them like barking at you. I'm very busy up in here. I guess this is not really their busy season. Down the ground, so yeah, I'm not a fucking I mean, mm, Great, thanks for that work. <laughs> Gotta believe that one out when I post it. Uh, but this one is this is another statue. This is another statue representing the, you know, what the, the cops ended up doing. Now, President Kennedy, he was absolutely appalled by what he was seeing on the news. You know, the fact that, you know, you have peaceful protesters who are really just boycotting local businesses, uh, you know, leading a march to try to get them to de desegregate the, the downtown businesses. Uh, you know, the fact that you had water cannons and, you know, all these arrests taking place, you know, and the brutality of it, you know, President Kennedy was absolutely appalled by it. So he ended up getting involved, intervening in it too. So this is another one. And this represents the Children's March. You know, I think well, I think one of the youngest pe kids that was arrested was like six years old. And you see the bars here. But what you might not notice is how that's upside down, where it says segregation is a sin. Yeah, they basically, they're basically trying to turn segregation upside down. That's my interpretation of it. Anyway. Now 
Yeah, directly across the street is the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. And I, I've been in there once before, but I don't think I can periscope inside there, so not going to do that. Now, there used to be so much violence here in Birmingham regarding civil rights that they actually nicknamed it Bombingham because there are so many bombings that took place as a result. And of course, the most famous one is right over here, the 16th Avenue Baptist Church. And I can show you exactly where the bombing took place. And I'll show you the statue that they put up. And I think I don't, I've been here once before, and I never—I don't remember recall seeing this statue. I hope I don't get a parking ticket. Get my car right there. I'll show you a picture of the four little girls that were killed first. So these are the four little girls that were killed inside that church. And they were simply uh, getting ready for uh, church services. They'd gotten there early and they were preparing um, early and uh, the Ku Klux Klan had planted a dynamite underneath the steps and then detonated it. Now this is a, this here's a statue representing the four girls. So you can see people put flowers. Now one of the girls, um, you know, they ended up discovering uh, her shoes and also her glasses and so that's represented there. I believe it's Sarah Collins, but she was one of the survivors. Uh, she ended up being blinded in her right eye and whenever the police arrived they found the shoes and the glasses just outside and they realized that there were victims that were buried in the rubble. And so these are the these are representations of the four little girls in the And then you'll notice uh, other victims, you know, of what happened here in Birmingham. Now Sarah Collins, who survived the bombing here, she's actually still alive. She does speaking engagements. She's written a couple books. And uh, as you can see, you can see a lot of spike leaves on there. Oh, I guess these are represent representative of people that help bring to life their story. Now across the street, I'll show you exactly where the bombing happened. So there's a good view of the church itself. It is a National Historic Site now. Probably just Jay Walls. There's nobody around here, so I'm not like they're gonna arrest me or anything. Heck, I shouldn't joke about that. Probably, knowing me, I probably would get arrested for jaywalking. That's just my luck sometimes. Let's see. Now, so right over here, this is where the bombing actually occurred. A lot of people assume that it was the front, uh, the very front of the church, but it's actually here around back. And let's see if I can cross. So I'll show you where the bombing occurred. So this marker right here, this represents where the bombing actually happened. And like I said earlier, uh, the Ku Klux Klan had planted these uh, dynamite underneath it and the girls were just simply preparing for church services and ended up getting uh, caught in the blast. You've seen that movie Salma? 
he's, if you've seen the movie Selma, which if you have it, I highly recommend it. Uh, it actually starts off with the the bombing here in uh, in Birmingham. But uh, that's really about it from here here in Birmingham. I don't have a whole lot else to to share. But uh, we'll see if I find something else to do. I'm actually going up to Nashville, and uh, I'll probably broadcast from Nashville. Probably going to do some honky tonking. Yeah, maybe that wouldn't be good to Periscope. I'm not sure. So anyway, but I'll give you one last little bomb up there. It's right here. And so this is where the they dug through and actually found the four little girls. But. across the street. Well, all right, well, Periscope is eating up my battery like you wouldn't believe. So I'm gonna have to chime off here. So thank y'all for watching. For those of you who did watch, I don't even know if anybody watched or not. But anyway, hey, at least I did it. So anyway, I wish y'all the best and I will catch you soon. I will also be broadcasting, like I said, I'll be broad probably broadcasting from Nashville. And then uh, on the way back home to Tampa, I'm gonna do some, uh, probably a, a, a side trip down to a Revolutionary War site. So I'm trying to cover as many areas of history as possible with this little trip. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll visit some non-historical sites too. You know, sometimes that's fun as well. But I'm a big history nerd, so you just have to put up with it. So, all right, well, you take care and I will see you later. Bye.